Hey there everybody, I am back and we're doing a 3D animation test where we're looking at the differences between animation in Photoshop and animation in After Effects. And this is really for comic books because i am uh, got a project that's going on now. It's in productions being drawn by an incredible artist in Spain. And I know that I'm going to be making a trailer pretty soon, so uh, I'm going to look at the 3D features specifically. So I'm a Photoshop guy. I've uh, been working in Photoshop for a long time. I'm much more comfortable working there. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the image in Photoshop and clean it up a little bit and get it ready for the animation. Now because I've been working in Photoshop for many years, my inclination is just to stay in Photoshop and uh, do all my animation there and render it in here. You can export to video in Photoshop. Uh, but let's compare what you can do in uh, Photoshop compared to what you can do in After Effects. So I've got my piece of glass as a separate layer and what I want to do is have this glass uh, spin and turn and move towards the camera. So what you can do in uh, Photoshop is you can render in 3D, you can make a 3D layer and so what I've done here is I've converted my layer uh, into 3D and you can see you can move it around uh, you can enlarge it, spin it, rotate it, whatever. So I've made the, the piece of glass into 3D. I've lowered the opacity a little bit so it looks see-through. And then you click Create Video Timeline. And when you have a 3D layer, you've got 3D scene position, camera position, render settings, and 3D cross-section, and then lights, materials, and meshes. So those are the things that you can animate in Photoshop 3D uh, and it looks pretty cool when you're manipulating it in 3D but when you go to try to animate it uh, there's a bunch of limitations because you can only animate the, the 3D scene position and you can't animate the 3D object itself. It's a little bit clunky. So now I'm going to save this file as a Photoshop file and open up After Effects and you can see the layers there. Now my layer was already in 3D so I was wondering if I drop it in uh, is it going to be a 3D layer or is it going to be a 2D layer and I'm looking at it right now and it is a 2D layer. It's not retaining any of its 3D properties. Like I said, uh, I'm more comfortable in Photoshop than After Effects. I'm a newbie in After Effects completely, so I'm really, I'm kind of experimenting now. I'm learning as I go. We really want to get to 3D because in 2D, I can change the scale, the rotation, the position, and the opacity, uh, but I really want those 3D effects like spinning and uh, getting bigger with perspective and changing position with perspective all the cool things that you can do with 3d now i've got to figure out how do i make this layer into 3d in after effects i've never done this before so i gotta hunt around a little bit this is all new for me and i'm gonna go and check out some of the menus i know after effects has 3d functions uh i just have to just have to find them oh i think i got an effect and then you go down to 3d layer all right Let's try that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so when you go to your transform submenu, you've got a whole bunch of different new things. X, Y, Z rotation, and you can slide that around. And yes, uh, that is giving me 3D effects, full 3D motion and animation, which is really cool. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna move the anchor point, the 3D anchor point, which is the red, green, and blue arrows. I'm gonna move that to the middle of the piece of glass, which is gonna make the, uh, the animation come from the middle of the piece of glass instead of off to the side. And that's something I couldn't do in Photoshop, so that's something I can do here. That's a real big advantage. And then I'm gonna finish up the animation. I'm gonna have that thing change position, go from left to right. I'm gonna have it spin and uh, I can even have it flip over, which is something that you also cannot do in Photoshop. You can't go past, uh, I think, 180 degrees in the Photoshop animation before uh, it gets confused and goes back to zero. But this is letting me do a complete 360 degree flip, which is really cool.
So I'm just going to finish this up and render it out, but I think we have a winner here. I am a huge fan of After Effects now. Uh, I didn't want to learn a new program, but it, it doesn't seem all that hard. And look, here's the rendered out scene. The benefits far outweigh having to learn new software.